We've come to Port Lowly, just north of Wyalo, and these divers are suiting up to snorkel in the waters just off the coast. Leading the team is Saudi scientist Dr Mike Steer, who comes here regularly to study the giant Australian cuttlefish. The giant cuttlefish are an incredible spectacle. They're a cephalopod, which means that their arms are on their head. They're in the family with octopus and squid and nautiliths. They're a spectacular species that aggregate here in beautiful Point Lowly in their tens of thousands during the winter. This is the only place in northern Spencer Gulf where we've got adequate rocks for these animals to lay their eggs. Everywhere else there's sand and mangroves, which is no good for cephalopod reproduction. Well, this is considered to be one of the most amazing natural events in the world. We have international visitors from, well, from everywhere, uh, documentary filmmakers, scientists, um, uh, naturalists, um, because you know you just have to step out in the water here to a couple of meters and you put your head under and you literally see hundreds and thousands of these animals spawning in front of your very eyes. The cuttlefish have a, an amazing biology. Um, you get these big ball males that are able to change the color and texture of their skin um, that are competing for these small females. Um, and then you get these smaller males, so they've got to be more ingenious in how they mate with the females. They make their body look like a female, and they come in undetected while the big bull males are fighting it out, and they mate with the female and disappear. So there's incredible strategy that is occurring underneath the water there. So what we do at Sardi is we want to get an understanding of how big the population is and we like to do that over multiple years because we want to get an indication of how that population tracks through time. So over time you get to see a, a cyclic um, uh, population boom and bust and it's really important because we want to conserve this population, we want to ensure that it remains here and is sustainable for everybody to see. I have to have a go at this wetsuit on and in I go. Just look at these creatures, hundreds of them are just off the shoreline. You can actually see some of them mating. You have to come to Isla to see this. It's the only place in the world you can see this giant cuttlefish breeding aggregation. At Sardi, our roles and responsibility is to provide the fundamental biological information that can be used for fisheries management and the sustainable protection of, the, of, the, of our resources, our natural resources. So it's good to see that the work that we are doing is actually meaning something.